It is I, Furball. <laughs> I don't know what the intro was. Alrighty then. So this is my character. It is a mouse. I have a camera set up to follow this character. So as you can see here, if I walk around, the camera will follow. I go up, it will go up. It has a little bit, a little bit of smoothing to it. But that's boring. So I added a simple zoom functionality. So you can appreciate the beautiful sprite that my partner had made up close. But sometimes in games like this, you want to be able to frame more than just the character itself. Maybe I want to frame that little white cube on the top left corner on my screen. So uh, perhaps that's a point of interest. Maybe there is a character in there who wants to offer a quest somehow. So all I need to do is simply just walk into the area and the camera will automatically frame both my character and that little white box. And as you can see, if I walk closer to the box itself, it will automatically zoom in and give you a little close up. And if I'm done with it and I'll try to walk away from the box, it will try to zoom out until eventually when you exit the area, it will bring the focus back to the character itself. And this can be done with multiple, uh, multiple entities, such as this one. And I come back here, I can talk to this one. Also, I've started a new project. In case you haven't noticed, it is called Solaris on Earth. It is a short arcadey farming game featuring rats. That's all I'm gonna say for now. Again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and bell. See you in the next video. Bye bye.